we were living in a in a house that we had bought a few years before up on on top of up on the, the side of Pillar Mountain. We were there during the uh, earthquake and tidal waves. That was about I think it's I think they said it was about 220 feet above uh, sea level. Mm -hmm. So we were safe for the, when the tsunamis came, mm -hmm. but, and we had a front row seat to watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. When I first realized something was happening was after we had got back in the house, <clears throat> 10 minutes, 15 minutes after the first quake, and tried to start straightening things up mm -hmm. a little bit. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, I stepped out on the little overhanging. Uh, front deck in front of the house and was watching all the activity downtown and, and below us and I glanced over at the far end of Woody Island mm -hmm. and we'd been up around the islands with our boat many mm -hmm. times so I, I knew what I was looking at and I saw this um, spray from the breakers hitting the point over the far northwest corner of Woody Island and it and it startled me because the spray was uh, considerably higher than the than the bluff there, mm -hmm. and I knew the bluff was a fairly high one right at that point. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, so I yelled at my wife who was inside, and, and a neighbor lady had come over, and uh, they were trying to warm up some dinner on a oil fired range we had in the kitchen, and I get, got that lighted again and going. It was the only heat we had. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they were busy, and I yelled at them, and I said, maybe there's a tsunami coming. All right, we call it a tidal wave, which isn't accurate, but... Uh, so they came running out and watched it, and and by the time they got on, out on the front deck, it had come down the channel, and mm -hmm. in a very high water, it, it made the channel look like a, kind of like a river that was running at a... running downhill. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and... Uh, and it swept down the channel and took everything along the channel with it, and buildings and stores mm -hmm. and canneries and everything. Just ripped them all out. And then it, when it got down, the high water reached the opening of the boat harbor. A lot of the water swirled right into the boat harbor. Mm -hmm. And all of the boats and the piers, docks, uh, floating docks and everything that were in there, all the boats that were still in there, they all got ripped out by the force of the water and pushed up into the town. Oh, gosh. And, and, uh, and that was when the real scary part started. Mm -hmm. we watching that. It was total destruction. Just everything just went. And how about the noise? Oh, it was... Never heard a noise like that before. Everything cracking, breaking wood and everything. and um, Very noisy. Everything just like a bulldozer running over your house or something oh. while you're in it. <laughs> oh, the earthquake, the first one, occurred at 5.36 in the evening, and it, and it seems to me that it was uh, five or six minutes after six when the first tsunami hit mm -hmm. here. The uh, epicenter was, like I say, in Upper Prince William Sound, and that's about 320 or 350 air miles northeast of here, mm -hmm. so it took a while for the water motion to mm -hmm. reach here. It's a good thing it did take that long because uh, if it had been a shorter time, I think there would have been a much greater loss of life here mm -hmm. on the island. The uh, troopers and the police, and then soon after that the uh, shore patrol from the Navy base, uh, tried to evacuate everybody from the low-lying oh, areas. Okay. And they had the sirens going and warning people and chasing them out of there. But a lot of people also wanted to get their boats out of the small boat harbor mm -hmm. because they thought if there was a tsunami coming, they would be able to save their boat if they could get it out of the harbor and mm -hmm. uh, out to the open water. I think that uh, everybody was pretty afraid that there would be a tsunami, mm -hmm. or could be, and so, but before the before the troopers could get organized to evacuate everybody, a lot of the people ran down there to the boat harbor to get mm -hmm. their boats out, and many of them did, mm -hmm. but uh, but 
some didn't, and that's why we had a considerable loss of life here in Kodiak. Mm -hmm. It wasn't from the earthquake. I don't think anybody was killed or injured in the earthquake itself mm -hmm. that I know of, but there were a number who lost their lives in the first tsunami. Mm -hmm.